96. Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Since this crusade is a global crusade, we are going to lift up our voice together as one all over the earth. We are going to sing of the praise of God. We are going to sing of the goodness of the Lord. We are going to talk about the wonders of his power. In verse 2, sing unto the Lord, bless his name. Show forth his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all people. Why? Verse 4, for the Lord is great. And greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols. But the Lord made the heaven. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. You will close your eyes. You are going to lift up your two hands to heaven. We rise up all together as we pray. You are going to lift up your two hands unto heaven. You begin to wave your hands unto Almighty God and say, Oh Lord, I give you praise. Oh Lord, I worship you. Oh Lord, you are great. Oh Lord, you are good. Oh Lord, you are marvelous. Oh Lord, you are kind. Oh Lord, you are wonderful. We bless your holy name. I cannot hear your voice. It is time of praises unto the Lord. The Lord has made us to see the day that we have been expecting. Wave your hands of praises unto the Lord. Offer songs of praises unto the Lord. Our Lord is good. His mercy is endured forever. He is kind. He is great. He is marvelous. He is wonderful. There is none like unto him. Let every living soul praise the Lord. Let every living soul praise the Lord. Let every living soul praise the Lord. The Lord is great and is greatly to be praised. You think the devil will be happy that this kind of crusade will be coming up Despite the fact that the devil is not happy, the Lord has made it a reality. To him be all glory. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him with a grateful heart. Praise him with an appreciative heart. Praise him like somebody who realizes there are loads of blessing awaiting him, awaiting her, wherever you are. On the social media, whatever country, whatever continent, it is time to praise the Lord. Let all the earth sing of his praises. We're praising him. Praise him. Praise him. Jesus, our blessed Redeemer. Praise him. Praise him. Sing of praises unto the Lord. Talk of his wonderful work. Talk of his greatness. Talk of his goodness. Talk of his mercies. Talk of his marvels. The Lord is great. The Lord is good. The Lord is gracious. The Lord is glorious. We will glorify his name. Let all the living souls praise the Lord. All the living souls praise the Lord. All the living souls praise the Lord. The day has come. The time has come. Your time of miracles. Your time of wonders. Your time that God will show forth his glory in your life. It is time to praise the name of the Lord.
Let us enter his gate with thanksgiving. Let us enter his court with praises. He is merciful. He is faithful. He has promised great and mighty things. He has promised total freedom. Yes, that's exactly what he will do. Not an incomplete freedom. Not partial freedom. Not little freedom. Total freedom. Total freedom. Lift up your voice. Praise his faithfulness. Praise his faithfulness. Do you know your miracle maybe is starting from now? Lift up your heart. Lift up your voice. Praise the name of the Lord. Every moment, every beat of this crusade is a miracle time. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. The King of kings. The Lord of lords. The mighty God. The great and mighty King. There is none like unto him. There is none beside him. Wherever you are, as you connect with the sound of my voice, lift up your voice of thanksgiving. Lift up your voice of praises. Express your gratitude from a grateful heart. The Lord made the churches to be united. United for a singular purpose of seeing God glorified in this land. Why won't you praise the Lord for the great things the Lord is doing? He has started. He has started. He has started. Wonderful things. Marvelous things. Glorious things. Give praise unto the Lord. Give praise unto the Lord. Give glory unto the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. I know your amen can be louder. The word of God says in the book of Matthew chapter 4. In book of Matthew chapter 4, the Bible says about our Lord Jesus Christ that he went to Capernaum in the coast of Zebulun and Naphtali. The Bible says the people that sat in darkness, great light sprung up on them. And those that were under the shadow of death, they saw great light that it might be fulfilled according to the prophecies of Isaiah. We are going to pray, O oh Lord, we are in for you. You cry unto God. We are going to cry unto God for our land. We are going to cry unto God for our family. We are going to cry unto God for Nigeria. We are going to cry unto God in every place where the sound of our voice is connected. We are praying and talking to God. We are talking to God about it. That God, these six, say, these six days crusade, O oh Lord, make it a time of, deep, of visitation to our land that will bring light into the darkness of our life, darkness of our land, darkness of our families, darkness of this nation. Oh Lord, make these this six days the days of your visitation to Ibadan land, to your state, to Nigeria, to Africa, to every place where we are connected with this program and make it a time when the darkness will disappear in our lives and families. Open your mouth and cry unto God. All who are sitting under darkness, under the influence of darkness, under the powers of darkness, under the controls of darkness, our land, 
our town, our city, our nation, our country, the continent of Africa, the all other continents. Oh Lord, make it a day, the days of your visitation that we translate into the light of God, taking darkness away from every part that we are connected. Maybe your life, maybe your family, maybe your family, maybe your family, maybe your land, maybe your family, maybe your church, maybe your ministry, maybe this town, maybe this nation. Let's talk to the Lord about it. It is prayer time. It is prayer time. Into God. We want to knock the door of heaven and it shall be opened unto us. This crusade will translate to divine visitation that will bring in the light of God into every part of darkness, into everywhere. Maybe in your life and family, maybe in your ministry, maybe in your town, maybe in your city, maybe in this nation, the Lord will make these five, six days days of divine visitation. That we bring light, light of God, light of Christ into every dark places. Everyone sitting in darkness will see the light, the light of God, the light of salvation, the light of deliverance, the light of liberation. Oh Lord, let these six days translate. To days of divine visitation that we bring light into every place of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. Are we talking to the Lord? Darkness must give way to light. Wherever darkness has been reigning, wherever darkness has been ruling, these six days of total freedom, the light of Christ, the light of Christ into every place of darkness. People sitting in darkness will see light. Those who are under the shadow of death, they will see great light. Great light will spring up on them in the name of Jesus, and that may be you. That may be you. It will happen. We shall experience Christ's visit. He visited Capernaum, Naphtali, and Zabulon. Those who were in darkness, they saw great light. And those who were under the shadow of death, the light sprung upon them. This scripture shall be fulfilled in our land. I hope you understand what we are praying about. I hope you will understand the implication of that prayer. Light drives out darkness. Every work of darkness must be destroyed because it is for this purpose that the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. It is time that the scriptures shall be fulfilled in this land, in this nation, in this nation, in your life, in your family, in the name of Jesus Christ. Where darkness has been raining, let the light of Christ break forth. For the light shineth in darkness. 
and the darkness comprehended it not. There will be the breaking forth of the light of God. There will be the breaking forth of the light of God. It is the light. It is the light. When God made the heaven and the earth, the earth was without form and void. The Spirit of the Lord moved upon the surface of the deep. And God commanded there to be light. And there was light. And when there was light, everything began to come into shape. Everything will take shape in your life and family. Everything will take shape in your ministry. Everything will take place in this land. Everything will take place, will take shape in this nation. In this continent, in your continent, in your nation, in your country. In Jesus' name we prayed. The title of this crusade is Total Freedom Through Christ, Through Faith in Christ. The Lord will help your faith. The Lord will help my faith that nothing shall be impossible as we come for this crusade these six days in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter, 12, verse, chapter 2 verse 14, For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy all him that are the power of death. That he is the devil and deliver them. And deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. The program is total freedom through faith in Christ. We are going to pray that God, we have come to seek you. I come to seek you beginning from today. Oh Lord. Let the purpose of your death, the purpose of your sacrifice at Calvary, which is for my total freedom, be fulfilled in this program. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. That even from tonight, from tonight, the purpose of your sacrifice, the purpose of your death, the purpose of your atonement will be fulfilled in my life. That I may be delivered totally. Deliverance from sin. Deliverance from evils. Deliverance from sin. Deliverance from sickness. Deliverance from Satan. Deliverance from the world. Deliverance from every activity of the devil. Deliverance. There will be total freedom. That's the purpose of Christ's death. That's the purpose of Christ's sacrifice. And it is through faith in his sacrifice. Through faith in him. That we, that you, that I will be able to experience that total freedom. It is tonight. It is beginning from tonight. It is beginning from tonight. It is beginning from tonight. Talk to the Lord about it. If you believe it, you will pray it. Because prayer is always believing. Faith is always praying. 
Believe it, tell it to the Lord. Believe it, tell it to the Lord. These six days, I will not go back without the purpose of Christ's sacrifice being fulfilled completely in my life. Without the purpose of Christ being fulfilled completely in my life. It doesn't matter whether you are a worker, whether you are a leader, whether you are a newcomer. As you are coming down from the bus, join the people of God in prayer. We are knocking on the doors of heaven. We are knocking on the doors of heaven. It shall be opened. It shall surely be open. The sacrifice of Christ is all that will accomplish it. He has paid everything for it. Let that purpose be fulfilled. The purpose of that sacrifice, the purpose of that sacrifice be fulfilled in me, in my life, totally, completely. He has promised he can never fail. He can never fail. He will not fail. We shall rejoice together. We shall rejoice together. Your testimony is starting already. Your testimony is starting already. By appropriating, by appropriating what Christ has done at Calvary for you. Believe it. The purpose of his sacrifice. The purpose of his death. The purpose of the blood that is shed at Calvary shall be fulfilled in your life. Total freedom. Total freedom. Total freedom. It is a week of total freedom. And I will not go back. And you will not go back. And we will not go back with any altar of that which is not of God in our life. In our land. In our families. In our nation. There shall be real freedom. Total freedom. Freedom from sin. Freedom from sin, freedom from Satan, freedom from sickness, freedom from the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Let everyone hear your amen. In Psalm 124, we're talking about freedom. Total freedom. The Bible says in verses 6 and 7. Blessed be the Lord, who hath not given us as a prey to their feet. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snares of the fowlers. The snare is broken, and we have escaped. Everybody say, I escape. Tonight, is a night of escape. You will escape. Our land will escape. Our nation will escape. 
the continent of Africa will escape. All over the world, wherever you are connected, you are escaping tonight in Jesus' name. We are talking to the Lord. Every snare, every snare that has, let, that has kept you, that has kept your life, that has kept your family, that has kept this land, that has kept this nation, in bondage that has kept your nation that has kept your family in bondage as the word of god will be coming out tonight let the snares be broken in the name of jesus lift up your voice and talk to the lord in prayer tell it to the lord it will be a night of snare breaking snares are broken chains shall be broken Chains shall be broken. Snares shall be broken. All captivity shall be broken. In the name of Jesus, talk to the Lord. As the word of God will be coming from his servant, from the man of God, the word of God will locate you all with that, where you are in that continent, where you are in that country, where you are in that nation, where you are in that city, where you are in that state, where you are in that region, the power of God will locate you and break every snare. Every snare holding your family in captivity. Every snare binding this land in captivity shall be broken. Every snare Binding this nation in captivity shall be broken in the name of Jesus. I thought I have people praying with me. I believe I have people agreeing with me that tonight snares, snares, snares shall be broken. Snares shall be broken. It's a night of freedom. Six days of freedom. Oops, please report for briefing now. In Jesus' name, we pray. And amen. We are here before God who answers prayer. He is the one that said, call unto me, and I will answer thee. He cannot deny his word. And I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. As we have called upon the Lord, if you believe God will honor your word, as honor your prayer, as answered your prayer, let me hear your amen. Almighty God, we thank you because of the way you have started with us. We believe that you that have brought those who are here, you are bringing others, you are taking out every obstacles out of their ways, and all our requests, we believe, are granted in Jesus' name. Let tonight be the beginning of a new thing new things new things new things you will do in every life in every home in every family in every state in every region in every country in every nation in every continent in jesus name 
Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the answer to our prayers. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Can somebody give the Lord a shout of hallelujah? Hallelujah. Ah, that hallelujah is too cold for my God. If you know you are serving a living God, the God who was, who is, and is to come, and you know he has the power to give you total freedom tonight, can you give the Lord a shout of big God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God is good. Ah, your hallelujah is too small. I say our God is good. Hallelujah. And hold the time. The Lord is I want you to wave your hands to the Lord. Keep the Lord a shout of praise from your heart. I just need you to worship him. Anyhow you can worship the Lord. Because through your worship tonight, the Lord is going to visit you. Amen. Through your worship tonight, there will be total freedom. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lord. Our God is always God. In every situation, in every circumstance, it will always be God. Your situation does not change who God is. And that is why we want to worship him. You never end it. Never begin it. He did not start now. And it won't stop now. You never end it. You never became it. He did not start now, and it won't end now. You were God, you are God, you will always be God. Can you wave your hands to the Lord and say He's God? You were God, you are God, you will always be God. In no circumstance, He is God and He will be God. You were God, you are God, you are God, you will always be God. Your sickness does not change who my God is. You are